G'day and welcome to Life That Travels. I'm Rob Malicki and today we are at the University of Canberra checking it out, having a look around and seeing what this place is all about. Obviously just outside the centre of Canberra itself and I've got to say, on a glorious day like today, end of winter, early spring, it's spectacular here on campus. People chilling out on the lawn, lots of stuff going on. I really like it. Let's go and have a look around. The University of Canberra was founded in 1967 as the College of Advanced Education uh, and then became the University of Canberra in 1990, so relatively young university but now teaches a wide range of undergraduate degrees as well as postgrad degrees and doing research so it covers a lot. Here the main discipline areas for your applied sciences you can do health, there's education which is quite strong, business governance and law is taught here as well as design and a number of other discipline areas. And one of the things that UC has done very well is created pathway programs to come and study here. So you do have different options for getting in. It's not all about those final marks straight out of the university. You can come through one of the pathway programs, um, not only from pathway programs like through TAFE here in Canberra, but also from Melbourne and Sydney as well. So the university has certainly tried to open itself up to give students the widest range of possibilities to getting in here, which is a good thing. This is one of the things I'm really passionate about, overseas study opportunities from universities. And UC's got some really fantastic options um, for students to go and have international studies as part of their degrees, semester exchanges, study tours, short programs, internships, and other kinds of opportunities. This is definitely an office you guys want to check out once you're studying here. The university's home to about 13,000 students and everyone's here on this one campus uh, at Bruce in the ACT of course, though there are those pathway programs that I was talking about um, available through some of the TAFEs interstate which is pretty good. UC also does really well um, in a number of areas. It's ranked consistently in the top 100 um, young universities in the world, so that's universities under the age of 50. So that's quite an achievement. And in addition to that, it does very well in terms of graduate employment, 90% graduate employability, which is above the national average. It ranks well on some of the other indices and indicators that you might want to look at. So a website I highly recommend you checking out is the Quality Indicators of Learning and Teaching. It's an Australian government website where essentially they interview students who are both studying here um, and who have graduated from the University of Canberra. And there you can dig down into the details of you know, how satisfied students are with particular courses here. And you know, once again, like rankings, um, they aren't everything, but if you dig into the detail, you can find some interesting stuff that might help you with your decision. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's so fantastic. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot going on all the time and you're always kept busy. They're very the supportive. Yeah. Oh, good, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know about like ANU because I've been told that ANU is a bit better, uh -huh. but I just came straight here and there's just so many like um, study sessions you can just get with a bunch of friends and someone that's already done the courses and the units will come and help you and it's just, yeah, there's a lot of good support programs that you see, so. Nice. Yeah. For those students who might be at high school, have no idea what peer assisted learning is, what yeah. is that? Yeah, Sorry. it's basically like free tutoring, but it's done by students that may have only just been in your shoes the year before, so they're going to know roughly what the course is still like and how to help you with it and even just where else to get support, I guess, in terms of the teachers because they would have only had the same teachers the year before. It gets a lot quieter when the <laughs> mid-semesters are coming because everyone's just like knuckling down doing their study yeah, yeah. but yeah between it does get pretty bustly. Yep. UC is very calm. Yep. I find UC, oh, God, yeah. yeah, it's not, <laughs> yeah. I don't feel it's as intense as other universities may be. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, UC is very kind of, it's very chill and yeah. relaxed. So I find that other unis, like I've been to the Western Sydney University campus in Parramatta and that one was just very busy 24 seven. Mm. And then a lot of places like UTS in Sydney and ANU, which is in Civic, all the campuses are just split everywhere, so it's not really that relaxed because you're constantly rushing down different streets to get the different buildings for classes, and I don't really think that would be anywhere near as relaxed or easy to navigate. Well, let's talk about rankings. University of Canberra generally ranks somewhere around 25th in Australia out of 40 universities. Once again, with all rankings, make sure you dive deep into the detail 
of uh, the subject or discipline area that you're looking to study because even a university that's ranked you know like midway through the Australian universities can still have areas of uh, real strength which is obviously a positive but you know what Australian universities also rank incredibly well worldwide UC is ranked around about 500 depending on which um, a ranking you look at sometimes a little bit better than that sometimes a little bit below that but generally that puts it in the top two or three percent of universities worldwide so that's still a very strong result what I love about UC though is this look at the absolute magnificent view all the way out to the ranges in the distance it's just a spectacular quiet nice place to spend time so let's keep looking around try and sneak up on some bunny rabbits this is pretty awesome you don't get to do this on very many campuses ah, gotcha. well it might not have the hustle and bustle of a bigger campus like ANU or even some of the interstate universities that students in here might be considering but I really like UC. It's just got such a nice vibe and definitely for people who are um, you know liking a kind of quieter environment um, this is the kind of place that feels feels right. Uh, it's got a lovely little campus, lots of nature and outdoor space it feels quite compact, not overwhelming at all. And you know what, in its, some of its areas, it's got some real areas of strength, some of its disciplines. So I reckon UC is definitely worth a look. And the coffee's good. <laughs> Always important. Anyway, I've had an enjoyable time having a look around. I'm Rob Maliki, and I'll see you next time on Life the Travels. Have a good day.